Now to get Prefortress 2 up and running, we're going to need a few things first. First thing you'll need is the Source SDK 2013 base multiplayer. Open your Steam client and go to your library section. Change the filter to show tools and enter in the search bar Source SDK. You should see the 2013 multiplayer base and be able to install it. The next step will require you to download any Git client that can pull from gitlab.com. There are plenty of different Git clients out there, but in this tutorial, we're only going to be going over GitHub Desktop, Tortoise Git, and Git Kraken. Not all of these clients are required to play Prefortress 2, so you can choose between any that you like. The websites to download these will be linked in the video description. Once you've installed a Git client, you can navigate to your Steam Apps folder. The default directory for this is in your C drive, Program Files x86, Steam, and Steam Apps. Open the Source Mods folder and right click in it. If you're using Tortoise Git, select Git Clone. Please note that when using Tortoise Git, you will also need Git for Windows. From here, you're going to need the URL for the Prefortress 2 repository. From here, we're going to clone with HTTPS. Copy the URL. Then paste it in the URL section of Tortoise Git. Double check to make sure that your directory looks correct, then click OK. Now, for Git Kraken users, simply open up Git Kraken and click Clone a Repo. Browse to the Source Mods folder that we discussed earlier and paste the URL of the Prefortress 2 repository in the URL section. Then click Clone the Repo. For GitHub Desktop users, click File, then Clone Repository, URL, then paste the URL of the Prefortress 2 repository, and set the local path to the Source Mods folder. Click Clone, and you're done. Cloning the repository is an easy way to update the game. Once the repository is done cloning, you can restart Steam. Jump back into your library and see if the Prefortress 2 open beta is available. Thanks, and have fun.